Hey guys, what's happening? So, another day, another repair. So, this is actually a damsel in distress stun gun. And it no longer works. My uh, wife got this, came home with it one day. Some lady was walking out of work and selling these things and she bought one, so. But uh, I don't know if it ever worked or, I, I, don't, I don't know. It might have worked at one point. Um, but yeah, it's been broken for like about a year and a half and I, I forgot about it and I found it again. I thought it was cool because I actually had this 110 AC charger and but there's no screws to get the case off so it's probably like those plastic welded and I think this doesn't want to turn on. It looks like it charges like when I plug it in. You know I get like a light here it looks like it's charging but I mean obviously there's no light and nothing going on with this thing and like I said there's no way to get it open so I might have to design a new case for this thing um, but Actually, before I take it apart, I'm assuming this thing is... I, I have no experience with stun guns, so I have no clue how these things work. But I'm guessing it has some sort of capacitor and transformer in there. To step up the voltage, and to store the voltage in the capacitor. To go click, 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 click. But... Alright, let's see what's in this thing. Yeah, it's probably... See, it's, it's like plastic welded. Oh, maybe... The charging port here. It also hits and slides there. So, <laughs> it's funny. Masking tape. All right. Um, kind of bummer. I can't see what's actually in here, and it's being fed by this. I can't see like a. It does look like a transformer, so there would have to be a capacitor in there. Okay, there's your transformer. And I have no clue what kind of cells these are. But I'm a little worried to be messing with this thing because I don't want this thing to go off and shock me, you know? So, are the batteries just not charging? What's, what's the story with this thing? How is this thing... I mean, if you're stepping in 110, somewhere you're going to have to have some sort of, like, rectifier or some kind of... You're converting a... AC to DC. I, I don't know if these are electrolytic capacitors or cells. Charge it right here. Alright, I'm going to pull these cells out and see if... What the hell is up with this thing? Are you just charging capacitors? Are these actually batteries? What are these things? Alright, All right, so before I, I can get the cells out, I'm going to do a voltage test here and I am getting 5 volt at the cell 5.2 volt so I just gotta trace these wires back and figure out okay like what the hell is the charging port doing like how are they converting 110 AC to 5 volt alright so I think I figured this out I mean, I was actually looking at this for a while, and this is actually some sort of safety mechanism right here. And I, I went online, looked at the manual, and I guess it, this thing is supposed to have some sort of like lanyard pull string, so in case it gets ripped off your hand, you can uh, it will prevent you from getting attacked by your own uh, stun gun. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna solder that, bypass it. So I mean, I, I was I was just feeding the battery. I can see all the battery leads were coming into this thing here that actually fed up the main switch. So all the battery leads came here, I fed up the main switch. Alright, all right, so I bypassed the uh, protection circuit right there, and uh, shrink wrapped it, but now I am getting power. Okay, that means you have a light in the front, then it's also, that means it's activated. that makes me the most nervous about this circuit is this is this charging thing this charging circuit I mean literally you just have some thin wires that come across they go to, I'm gonna take the tape off of this thing and figure out what it is all right so this has to be some of the worst electronics I've ever seen and uh, look at that I mean I don't know if the, is that a capacitor right there like a ceramic capacitor 
There's some sort of like IC integrated circuit in there. I'm guessing that's a charge controller, but look at that. Just soldered right to the cap on one side. Right there. It's crazy, and you're plugging this into the wall, by the way. This is, I mean, this is actually going into your wall, wall power. And that's the only thing that's charging these cells right here, is this little chip right here, whatever it does. That's ridiculous. So, got it working again, but I don't know if I want to deal with it, but um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to design a new case for it. I'm going to make it more like manly and create like a new case for it and, you know, redesign some of the stuff in here. This, this is too sketchy. Look at that. Alright, cool. So if you bought one of these things and you want to know what it looks like inside, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Masking tape, sketchy circuits, all the above. Like, this actually probably wouldn't bother me normally so much if you weren't plugged into 110 AC. That's what makes it sketchy. Alright guys, cool.